Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Canine Clips and this is Bentley. And uh, Bentley, we are going to show the difference of someone who's uh, been experienced uh, grooming a dog's face um, to someone that's been uh, just started out for about six months now. So he's a little bit more difficult too because he's just a little bit older so he likes to move around a lot. Um, so uh, Taylor here is just going to show you quickly. Um, she's been working on his face for a little bit. But of course he likes to move around a lot so um, she's just going to show you um, how it works for her and then I'm going to step in and take over from her. So you can go ahead. So it is hard because he's um, moving the top of his head. And of course with sharp scissors um, you want to make sure you're careful. So I'll just show you a different technique to work with him as well. He does have a growth on his face as well. So of course we want to be aware of that. But as you can see, he doesn't want to kind of stay still for her. So, you know, having sharp scissors, that's not a, in a position you kind of want to be in just in case um, he moves quite sharply. All right, so I'm just going to take over here. And Bentley's come to me a few times. And... Um, even just because I've been grooming a little bit longer, he may act a little bit differently as well. But he still likes to move around as well. So when I am holding him underneath, I still have a gap between my thumb um, and my underarm uh, fingers there. So I'm making sure I'm not putting any pressure on his throat. I'll try to push him back a little bit because he's trying to walk off the table. So he doesn't have that. And when you're first starting out, um, even if you're just a little bit nervous, they kind of pick up that as well. So they may move around a little bit more, but as you become more and more confident and um, doing keep doing what you're doing, the dogs will um, kind of just hang out here. As you can see, he's kind of not moving as much. He's still giving me a little bit of resistance though. So I kind of wait till he stops moving. And then I kind of go in there. So I don't want to catch his tongue or anything. Especially around his mouth there. So again, one of my thumbs underneath his hand. Or underneath his chin there. It's just underneath his chin. It's nowhere near his throat. Okay. I'm just going to make sure his tongue's in there as well. Hey, hey, it's okay. Okay, and then another thing I can do as well is kind of, I've shown this a couple times, is to bring his face close to Close, close to my chest just to have a little bit more resistance and control over where his face is going to move on me. It's okay, buddy. He does have a little bit of matting under there as well. So we're trying to keep a little bit of it um, as the owner doesn't want it cut right down. Just wants to have them a little bit of a rounded face if possible. And he does have a little bit of matting under here. Okay, buddy. So it's basically just persistence. Just keep on continuing to do it, um, even if the dog is resistant to it. So, and that's how you get through it um, without restraints. You don't need to use restraints on a dog. You just have to be outpatient, <laughs> outpatiented for them. <laughs> so you got to be quite a bit patient and just um, relax yourself. And although it can be a bit frustrating. 
it's uh, frustrating more for them too because they don't want to be here. So it's just kind of getting in there and um, going at their pace, but kind of um, watching their moves and kind of counteracting where they're going. And um, so you can kind of go where you need to go as well at the same time. So hopefully this video will help you and uh, give you an idea of how to trim around a dog's face and um, <laughs> give you some suggestions on how to do that. So thanks for watching. I um, hope you'll subscribe to watch uh, other videos that I'll be posting and um, hope you're having a great day.